It's your boy Zip Tim back with another video and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install the emergency lighting system for GTA 4 LCPDF bar. Alright guys, so first thing you guys want to do, make your way over here to Google and you guys want to type this in. There will be a, li a link down in the description if you guys don't actually want to go and find this yourself. You guys just want to quick get to it. I'll have a link down in the description for you guys. If you guys had any sort of lighting issues with the cop cars where like the lights don't appear off the walls, or, you know, look like a cop car, or the lights don't even work at all, this should um, be the fix for this um, if you've done everything up to all the videos I've done if you've done anything else that I haven't showed in the videos then if this does not work I cannot say or Know for a fact that I can fix whatever your problem is But if you guys have an issue just like in the last video I helped a lot of you guys get past some of your issues So just make sure you guys comment down below on whatever issues you guys got and we'll get them knocked out get them settled and uh, Yeah, so this is how you install ELS first thing you guys want to do obviously hit download this file and I just go ahead and click here. It's a lot quicker than waiting that four seconds. Once it's done, you know, you guys want to go ahead and drag this out to your desktop. And then you guys can just close that. Now, once you guys have done that, go ahead and extract the ELS folder. Folder. I don't know. Okay, English. I just woke up, so bear with me here, guys. Anyways, installation folders. You guys don't even need documentation or the media. Just go to installation, Grand Theft Auto. Now, this is real, real, real easy, guys. Um, but before we move this over to the game, you guys want to go into ELS, um, configuration settings. Don't open this one or any of that. Just this one. Okay? Just this one. Now, what you guys are going to do, once you guys come down here, you guys want to find your function key and the combo key. You want to make the, the combo key 18. You want to make this 17. Okay? Once you guys have done that, you guys want to make your way down to this AI ELS single, I believe that's single player and multiplayer, and that's for the AI to be able to use ELS. Um, just go ahead and turn both of these to off, and that will prevent crashing for online and multiplayer use. So yes, and then once you guys are done with that, it's real easy as um, just going to your folder. Since you guys can't just go right here to do this, I will actually show you guys how to navigate to there so you guys want to go to desktop or no my bad PC your C folder and then you guys are gonna go 86 Steam Steam apps common Gary's mod and then now for me I have two different folders um, one's actually online the other one's not um, so this isn't gonna matter but I'm going to do the single player one just for the example so you guys can get an idea of how to install it on a regular copy and not, you know, like remodified. So this one right here is what um, I installed with you guys. This one over here is a different downgraded version pretty much with multiplayer installed and I'm still tampering around with it. I figured it out to the point where I can load into multiplayer and run around. Um, I still don't know if I can invite people. That's still a thing that's a uh, work in progress that I'm trying to figure out how to do. But obviously, once I figure that out, there'll be a video coming out on it. So all you guys got to do, literally, copy, move it over, replace. Easy as that. Now, I want to point things out here, okay? Because I am going to launch this, and it's most likely probably going to start for me. Now, I just want to point this out, you know, just in case you guys have issues, this will save you guys from even having to go down and comment. If you guys ever, ever, ever come to launch the game and you guys have or get a message that says error, ASI loaders, too many, or whatever the case may be, um, what you guys will want to do Anyways, guys, sorry about that. Um, I just got a text message real quick, had to answer that. Anyways, yeah, so if you guys have the X Live DLL and you guys have the D sound DLL that can actually cause a problem to interfere with each other. So you, if you guys ever have a problem, get rid of this D sound DLL folder right here because this is the newest one, the X Live, and I believe what that does is gets rid of the online features. So then you can actually play with LCPDFR. I could be wrong on that, but I believe that's the the idea behind it. So I'm about to launch this game up, and I'll see y'all in the game. And actually, you know what? Matter of fact. I'm going to just show you guys it launching, so if there is any sort of errors, you guys will for first hand see what happens, okay? So, yeah. Let me just go ahead and click.
click the play GTA and let it fire up. And as you guys notice, everything's working. Just had to make sure, you know, had to make sure my game was actually reading. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go over here to start, and I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, don't Once we get back here to the home screen, I will um, wrap this video up for you guys, and uh, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, this helps you guys out, gets rid of all your guys' issues, and pretty much, yeah. I'm, I'm probably going to make this into like kind of a playlist kind of deal, so you guys will have an easier way to access all these videos, and just kind of be able to go down the list and just get everything you need. Um... After this video, I'm going to be coming out, um, it should be coming out today following this video, and it's going to be how to install the police helper and all those types of features into the game. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a comment down below, um, like and subscribe and share the video, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.